Welcome back, everybody. And we're continuing on about rolling shutters. So in the last video, we did the rolling shutter with the Blackmagic Cinema Camera. And yeah, it's 10 years old, so the rolling shutter is going to be a little bit worse. And we're going to see if it's actually progressed over time and gotten better. So today we're going to take out the Blackmagic Micro Cinema Camera and test out the rolling shutter against the Blackmagic Cinema Camera. I'm going to make this a very short video. It's not going to be very long. Um, similar cameras. We've got the Blackmagic OG cinema camera, and we've got the Blackmagic micro cinema camera that came out maybe 2015, 2016, I guess. Um, and we want to see if they've updated anything and gotten better with the rolling shutter. Uh, I think I've had this camera at least for four years maybe a little bit more. I bought this before the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras came out, but I still have a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K and a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K. So in our next video, we'll test the new guys out and see if they're even better than the Micro Cinema camera. So let's go out, let's shoot some stuff and let's check out the rolling shutter and then we will fix it again in Premiere Pro and see if we see any changes with that and if we can repair the rolling shutter or if it's worse than the cinema camera. And we'll see it in real time here and see how much it warps against the Blackmagic cinema camera. Here's the micro cinema camera. And here is the Blackmagic cinema camera. Yes, there's still a little bit of a rolling shutter issue, but not as bad as the OG cinema camera has. So here we are, we'll do a freeze frame and I actually will take a freeze frame from the micro cinema camera, put it up against the Blackmagic cinema camera and we'll see how much distortion between the two images. So now we're going to do the rolling shutter repair here in Adobe Premiere Pro and see if we can fix that a little bit. Again, you'll have to play with this a little bit. You can't just throw the effect on there and expect it to work. You're going to have to change how it warps, kind of even this stuff up a little bit. Okay, and that's it. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you like this content, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It helps us keep doing more videos about things that you are interested in. If you want to see more, leave a comment. If you want more information, leave a comment. Just let me know. I respond to most all comments and questions that anybody has out there. So just go ahead and ask. So we'll see you in the next video.